so let us come back and learn this concept that is your azeotropes or azeotropic mixtures so gradually what did we do we have learned ideal solutions differences between ideal and non ideal solutions and then i also explain you what are positive deviations and negative deviations in ideal solutions now this is the right time you have to learn this azeotrope mixtures suppose if they ask you in the exam if they ask you for one mark what actually is an azeotrope let us define that <clears throat> or azeotrope or azeotropic mixtures trope are azeotropic mixtures simple just write like this it is a mixture of two liquids which have constant boiling point and composition throughout distillation okay what did i write let us explain this first this is only for your examination to write the definition so basically what happens <laughs> now we have learned in ideal uh, so in you have studied in non ideal solutions two types of deviation one was positive and one one was negative isn't it let us draw that first then i'll try to explain this now this is one graph for positive this is one more graph for negative so i said <clears throat> this is your ide ideal solution uh, graph and uh, the one below okay let us put this is also dotted so that i can differentiate dotted this is also dotted now here also for negative deviation one dotted one more one more yes here what did you write here written x a is equal to 1 x b is equal to 0 here x a is equal to 0 x b is equal to 1 because you have already drawn this graph right now <clears throat> what actually is the condition now whenever something is showing a positive deviation i already gave the reason when the interactions between a and b are weaker they're going to show a positive deviation compared to your now ideal solution here also they going to show positive deviation here also they going to show positive deviation above the ideal solution this is what you have learned yes draw it properly now when the ab interactions are stronger they are going to show negative interactions compared to your ideal solution negative interaction compared to ideal solution negative interaction compared to ideal solution now observe carefully now what happens when i have to mark now when i see this graph this this particular thing this is a maximum point when i see this graph this is the minimum point okay let us take this as minimum point now let just drop in one line down okay blue is not clear let us draw with black drop in one line this is maximum point now this is your minimum point minimum point now <coughs> now what actually happens suppose you are taking a, a, at this particular point okay we are taking i said uh, we are going to take two uh, li li liquid like this your one would be uh, non volatile solute and one would be a volatile solvent now what happens when you take these two together a and b at this particular point at the maximum point or at the minimum point you have two isn't it now solute and solvent at this point your vapor as well as your liquid both will be in equilibrium right liquid phase and the vapor phase both will be at that point this point liquid vapor okay let us write what did i say i said liquid phase as well as your vapor phase both will be in equilibrium now what happens when you are trying to distill this liquid what is distill what is this word distill i'm using distill is nothing but you're heating up you have to purify that liquid yeah distill distillation is basically a process of purifying by heating when you're trying to purify this liquid okay by distillation this liquid <coughs> gets converted to the vapor yeah and on condensing you get a pure form of the liquid again okay the composition is not going to change i said no they have constant boiling point and composition throughout so what's happening liquid and vapor phase at the maximum point or liquid or vapor phase at the minimum point both will become equal i said now i said the same story i'm repeating again you're trying to distill this liquid what is this 
distillation you're heating the liquid so that you're purifying it and when you're purifying and when you're condensing the whole thing those vapors you will get a pure composition liquid means that particular composition is completely pure nothing else is present in that that is particular that particular liquid we call as or that particular phase we call it as a mixture of two that particular phase we call it as azeotropic mixture the combination of both at this point and at this point azeotropic mixtures done so simple thing you have to first remember this concept right now i already explain you further using that data you will understand more clearly than this